everyone it's martha welcome to my channel everything martha crafts and more and i want to welcome my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing if it's your first time here well i hope you will consider pressing the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you can be notified whenever i upload a video today i have a really adorable diy for you and it's all dollar tree except for one little item which was like a dollar something so i think it came out really cute i'm super excited to show it to you as a matter of fact i think i'm gonna show it to you right now in case you like it so you could keep watching and here it is you guys isn't that just the cutest little thing and it's pretty through all angles i just love <laughs> little bee decors and look at the little bees all over the flowers and the little the little honeycomb back here and those little jars look look you guys isn't that just the cutest thing well i'm going to show you how i made that with all dollar tree items the only thing that are not dollar tree items are the little bees and i got those at walmart and they were just a dollar something to the price could be from Dollar Tree items. So if you like it, then stay tuned and watch because it was really a fun project. You guys know that we went through a difficult situation recently and whenever I do crafts, it's like it just takes me out of all my problems. I just love to create something and make something pretty with inexpensive items. And it just, just makes me forget all my troubles. So I really had fun making it and sh gonna share it with you now. I hope that you enjoy it and that you may try it also. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks so much to all my subscribers. Please share my channel if you can, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, take care. Okay guys, and here's what you'll need if you wanna make this DIY. You'll need some paint, hot glue, some artificial flowers. I got uh, some two little jars at Dollar Tree, three little wooden pallets, two of those little wooden houses, the owl. I also got a pack of balloons back there, yellow balloons, some ribbon, which I had. I had the jute as well. Yeah, I'm sure you're wondering what I'm going to do with those balloons. And I might use some of these stickers. Let's get started, you guys. Okay, you guys, and we're going to start out with some paint by Apple Barrel. I'm using the white and the antique white. And I'm going to go ahead and paint all the wooden pieces, which would be the two ends, which I'm going to use for the ends, which are like in the shape of a little house and the three little palettes. So I'm going to paint those on all sides. I decided to mix the white and the antique white because I did not want it to be stark white. I wanted it to be white, but with a little bit of a softer look. This cute little owl, I am going to just use the bottom part of her body. That bottom part of her body reminded me of a little beehive. So I'm going to take my knife, and a serrated knife, and I'm going to cut out the face of the owl. And I'll save that for another project. So the bottom part of the little body is going to actually be the beehive for the little bees. And we'll keep working with that a little bit later on because right now I'm going to start working with these adorable little bottles I bought at Dollar Tree. They're so cute. I'm going to remove the jute bow and they're so adorable. They have little flowers that it has rain falling on them, but we're going to cover these with balloons. Yes, you heard right. We're going to use balloons. For the bottom half of the jar, I'm going to cut just the top of the balloon and for the top part of the jar, I'm going to cut the top and the bottom of the, of the balloon. Just keep watching. I'm 
once you place the balloon on the bottom half of the jar, you're gonna need to puncture a little hole in the bottom so that the little air that's stuck in there just escapes. And that's how you cover the bottom part of the jar. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the top. And for the top part of the jar, remember you're going to cut the top of the balloon and a little bit of the bottom. This idea is just a method. You can do that with many different DIYs that you want to make. I saw something similar on Facebook. It wasn't quite the same, but it just lit the light bulb in my head in order to do this craft. Next, I'm going to start working with this really thin black ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm going to just put a few lines of this black ribbon around the jar. And because I want it to look like a little bee jar. And then the bottom of the jar, I'm going to use another ribbon that I had found in Dollar Tree that looks like a honeycomb. So that's how I'm going to start by decorating the jars. And after I'm finished decorating the jar, I'm gonna get the jute that I brought again and I'm gonna make a pretty little bowl around the top of each of the jars. Next, I'm gonna use a beige and a brown. I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna start painting what's going to be the little beehive for these adorable little bees. I'm also going to add a little bit of gold paint that I have and I'm going to give a coat of that gold paint over the brown and beige that I mixed together. Okay you guys, now it's time to work with these adorable little bees. They are so cute. I bought two packs at Walmart and they were only a dollar something each. One pack is just bees and the other one has bees and flowers. But they are buttons so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the backing off the buttons. And look at these bees, they're flying all over the place. I need to go find them. So after I'm done with that, we will continue. Okay, you guys, and I did cut one of the wooden pallets in half. It was really easy to cut through it with my serrated knife. And so I'm gonna start by gluing one of the full pallets to the other one, almost like if you were making a bench. So I'm starting to work with the two pallets that I did not cut. Next, I'm going to take the half of the palette that I cut and I'm going to glue that to the top part of the other palette. And 
then I want to hold it in place until the hot glue is dry. And this is what we have so far and I'm going to start adding glue to the side because I'm going to glue one of the pieces that looks like a little house to the side of the two pallets. I'm doing the same with the other side and I'm gonna glue the other little wooden house to this other side of the pallets. Then I'm going to paint the back of the pallets. Now I'm gonna take a little B and I'm gonna put some hot glue in the back and I'm going to glue it to each of the bows of the jars, right in the center of the bows and don't those look adorable. Now I'm taking my black marker and I'm gonna do a little door to the beehive. That's gonna be the little entrance to the beehive and I decided to glue the other half of the palette to the bottom of the um, little shelf that I made and that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna also add hot glue all around the little beehive and I am going to hot glue a piece of jute all around it. And what's a beehive without some bees? So now it's time to hot glue a couple of the little bees to the beehive. these flowers would look really pretty for this decor so I'm gonna cut them all the little branches off and I am going to hot glue some of the little bees on top of these flowers I'm gonna go ahead and put the final touches on this DIY I'm gonna make it my own I'm gonna hot glue some bees some flowers and I made I want it to look nice on all angles so I'm gonna get to work with on that and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done you guys tell me what you think I think it came out really nice look at those little bees flying around the honeycomb and the flowers with the little bees on them and I just love the way that the little shelf came out and the jars and like I said you can look at it through all angles and it will look really pretty those are little flies that are on the honeycombs so I really did enjoy making this project and it was just really inexpensive to make. I hope that you enjoyed it as well and that you may give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys on my next video. Take care until then. Bye.